Hi and welcome to tutorial on Cadence. In this video tutorial, I will demonstrate how to perform the parametric analysis of CMOS inverter circuit using Cadence Virtuoso. So let's begin. For parametric analysis, I have considered a simple CMOS inverter circuit with PMOS and NMOS. Select the transistor, change the parameter, the width as WP. Similarly for NMOS, change the parameter total width as WN. Check and save. For the analysis, I have considered the inverter test bin setup. You can see the circuit, use shift E. This is the circuit which I am going to consider and control E to come out of it. For this, you have to perform the analysis or simulation first. Go to the launch, ADEL. This is the ADE window. Before that, you need to have the design variables. So just right click copy from cell view these are the parameters now i am presenting only the default parameters as 120 nano and wp with the same default as 120 choose the analysis you can have transient as well as dc analysis i am simulating it to 600 pico with moderate and DC, select the DC operating point, component parameter, select the component, select the input, choose DC or VDC, starting from 0 and 1.2, click OK. Now choose the outputs to be plotted. Click edit from the schematic, choose input and output to be plotted. Click OK. Then you have the ADE window with the default design variables and analysis as well as the input and output. Click on netlist and run. This is the output of a CMOS inverter circuit and this is the DC characteristics of CMOS inverter. But if you observe that, it has to cross over exactly at the midpoint. For 1.2 volt, it should be around 0.6. Let me use the marker for this. This is the midpoint actually. The crossing has to take place at this place it is not swept properly so i am using the parametric analysis so what for that what i am going to do is i am using the same ade window then click on tools parametric analysis a new window pops out here you can add the variables click on add variable you can add WP and from already the default value is 120. So I am keeping 120 as default and up to I am taking it as 500 nano. You can change the step mode linear or linear steps and I want to have for total of 10 steps. Either you can add the variables. If you want, you can add the variables. So I am using only WP right now. Click on run selected sweeps. It is performing the parametric sweep. You can see the results. Both for transient, transient 
transient as well as the DC. You can observe that I have selected only the 10. If you want more, you can take more values. That means you can increment the values by considering this. So this was the initial value. This was initial for 120 nanosecond. That is 120 nanometer. You can go up to maximum. Wherever it fits to the maximum value, you can have that. This is the advantage of performing the par parametric analysis. Similarly, you can see here also in this manner. So this shows the parametric analysis of a CMOS inverter and once this is done, you can select a appropriate value. You can select the appropriate value from the given WP of PMOS. Either you can cho choose the values for total steps of, I can increase it to 20 also. 20. Again, you can perform the same analysis. This time it has evaluated for more iterations. You can just delete this graph if you want. And you can see only the 20. This is the input and this shows the output for total 20 iterations. This is how you perform the parametric analysis using any global variables.